None of the animations in this video that I will be showing aren't complicated at all, so by the time you finish you should be able to do them all. First I'd like to show you where the text tool is. It's located on the middle left side, uh, and when you click on it, it'll probably take some time to load, depending on how many fonts you have. I'm going to start off this video by showing you the glowing animation. First you start with whatever text you'd like. And you'll need to paint the background the same color as your text. So if you see the gradient tool, you may need to switch to the, uh, the bucket tool. For this to work, you need to have the text the same color as the background. You'll notice here how you see the cancel symbol there. That means you can add paint to a text. Create a new layer by going to the top and selecting layer, new layer, or you can press control, shift, and N, and you can click OK. Paint the background the same as your text. Make sure your background is in the actual background, not above the text. Then go back and click on the effects button and select outer glow. The default setting for outer glow is 75% and when we start our animation we need it at zero. Once you're finished with the settings you'll need to get your animation window. I have mine up. If you don't have a window up you can locate it by going to window animation. Some of you guys might have your window of animation set to frames. We don't want that, so change it by pressing the bus button on the lower right of that window. When you're done with that, go back to the time bar and move it out a little past the zero mark and click style. You'll see a little diamond shape appear. Go back on the right and click on the effects window and set the opacity to 100%. Another marker will appear. Go back and move the bar a little over more and set it to zero. On the right side of the animation window, at the top will be a vertical blue bar. Drag that bar to around two seconds and that controls how long the animation will go for. Once you have that set up, you can press play. And now it's glowing. And you can also adjust the speed of the glow by changing the distance between the markers. The further they are apart, the slower it will go. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a gradient animation. Go back to your text tool and create your text. You can change the base color of any text by double clicking on it and going up to the right and change the color. Once finished, select the gradient tool. If, you, if you've been using the bucket tool, you will have to click and hold it, then change it to the gradient tool. Go up to the top and select which gradient you want to use. As you can see, I have a ton of gradients. You can download these gradients anytime online. Once you've chosen the one you want to use, select colors. I'm going to use red, white, and blue. Once you're done with that, go back up to the top and click OK. For this to work, we need to create another layer. So go back up to the top and click Layer, New Layer. And unlike last time, we need to check the box saying Use Previous Layer's Clipping Mask. If you forget to check that box, don't worry, you can change it to a clipping mask by right-clicking on the layer and going to Create Clipping Mask. Now, click before the image, holding across the image, holding shift, to create the gradient. Now let's go back to the animation window. 
At the animation window, click on the layer you've created with the clipping mask. Mine's layer 2. Move the time bar so it's almost back to zero and click position. Go back down to your text, hold shift and move the gradient left or right. Moving the gradient only a little bit at a time is needed for this or you'll have skippy animation. Don't forget to not move the gradient too far otherwise the gradient will run out. Now you can press play and notice how the animation is making it go back and forth. The next animation I'm going to show you how to create is blinking animation. Create the text you want with the text tool and change the color. Personally, I think this one's the easiest. All you have to do is click the effects button on your text layer and go to the top where it says blending options. At the top of that window you'll see opacity. At the start of the animation we want this to be 0%. Click OK. Go to your animation window and under that text layer click opacity. Move the time bar a little off the mark and go back to the effects window to change the opacity back to 100%. Move the bar a little more and change the opacity back to 0. The key to this animation is to have the marks as close together as possible. And if you're like me, you'd want the text to blink more than once in every two seconds. So instead of doing this manually, you can copy the keyframes by highlighting them, and then while right-clicked on existing frames, you can paste them. Press play, and you'll notice the short bursts of text. The last text animation I'm going to show you is moving animation. To start off, Create the text where you want it. Make sure you have enough room for it to move around. Go back to your animation, win animation window and select the text layer you want to appear moving. Once again, click on position. Again, move the bar to make room for another marker. After you do this, go back to your text and hold shift. Then move the letters a few spots to the left or right. Continue this until you've done what you've wanted and how much you want it to move. If you want the text to move diagonally, release the shift key. This goes for anything regarding shift. Hold, holding shift keeps things at increments of 45 degrees. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more videos of things regarding Photoshop, don't hesitate to personal message me or leave a comment here on YouTube. Thanks.